Let's take a look at some example code for a local exec. So here we have a bunch of examples on the right hand side. And so I just kind of want to walk through some of the commands that we can use. But before we do that, just let's take a quicker look here at the code. So notice we have a resource like AWS instance and web. And then we are specifying a provisioner being a local exec. And then we have a command that is being executed under there. Okay, so hopefully that makes it pretty clear. But let's just kind of work through the options we have available to us. So the first is we have a command and this is required. And this is the command you want to execute. So notice that uh, we are doing uh, an echo there. So it's whatever is uh, possible uh, there. And I, I think by default, it's using bash, okay? So if you're using Linux, that's what it would be using. Uh, we could also set a working directory. We don't see an example there on the right-hand side, but if you wanted to uh, say where the command will be executed, that's something you could do. So maybe you want it over here. Uh, another thing is the interpreter. So this is the entry point for the command. I think by default, again, it would probably use bash if you're on a Linux machine, but you could say use bash, Ruby, AWS CLI, PowerShell, whatever you want, okay? If you needed to pass environment variables in, maybe you need a uh, key and secret. Uh, so the example here is, you know, we are printing out those keys and then putting them into a uh, credentials YAML file. Uh, so that could be an example there, okay? Uh, 